as of the 1st of June, we are, are going to allow for persons who are coming to these shores, uh, both as tourists and as, as visitors who have uh, the dual vaccines, or in the case of the um, Johnson & Johnson single dose vaccine, once they have a completed dosage of the vaccines, that they are going to be allowed uh, to carry on without the need for uh, quarantine. However, Minister Nicholas says fully vaccinated travelers who intend to be among the local population will be asked to quarantine in their own homes for 48 hours. This is while they are awaiting the results of a PCR test they would have taken on arrival at the airport at their own expense. Once the result is negative, they will be allowed to end their quarantine immediately. Unvaccinated travelers or those not fully vaccinated will also be tested at the airport and will be quarantined at a government facility or at home. Ahead of these new arrangements taking effect on 1st June, the minister explains what is currently in place. Even as we speak, it is expected that persons who are arriving here um, with a PCR test and, and can give evidence that they have completed a full panel of vaccinations will only be required to quarantine for seven days. However, though Cabinet has eased the restrictions in relation to quarantine for fully vaccinated travelers, Minister Nicholas says they will not be adopting the mask mandate of the U.S. health authorities. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has indicated fully vaccinated individuals do not need to wear masks when they are outdoors. The suggestion was raised um, by members of the public, but uh, looking at it, uh, there is no easy way of defining um, on the face of it persons who would have completed the full dosage of the vaccines, um, as opposed to another person who may just be uh, not willing to wear masks. He says the issue of making a distinction between who wears masks and who doesn't is a line of danger that will not be crossed. Shanakisha Francis reporting for ABS News.